well, this is the end result. So it came out really well. So let's go find out what do we do to make this amazing yogurt that you can eat every day and clean up your gut, be healthier, happier. Um, and, and if you have issues with milk, this A2, this is a winner. All right, well, come on and let's see. You see how it ends? Let's see how it begins. Hey, friends. Today, we are going to make a uh, healthy gut yogurt, what I call a super yogurt, with A2, half and half. That's half whole milk, whole milk and half heavy cream. Uh, the A2 is specifically the... It's just that protein, and in milk, there's normally two. There's an A1 and an A2. A1 tends to give people a lot of trouble if they if they have, you know, issues with uh, drinking milk and consuming dairy products. So they develop this A2 milk that is uh, known to be easier. Um, and some folks that haven't been able to drink milk or consume dairy can do so now with this type of milk. Now, this is completely clean as far as like other than uh, the modified protein structure. There is, um, you know, it's just, just milk and cream right there. So nothing added into it. So it is a good clean um, substitute for a regular half and half, half whole milk, half heavy cream. Uh, we're going to be using this, their Biotic Complete, um, because it is a very good source of bacteria, all for basically uh, 90 US dollars. So considering that you have to buy multiple of these, it can run up uh, $100, $200 sometimes. Uh, but anyway, they, there's a lot of good strains in here, and all of these, all 13 of these, um, or 12 of these, excuse me, are fantastic for the gut um, very good at removing the bad bacteria and then adding um, just getting your gut in a much healthier spot so um, i'm going to use that for this you can use the same for any other type of bacteria the only difference will be the cook temperature and the cook and the cook time usually um, so all of these are pretty much at 99 degrees, 37 degrees Celsius, with the exception of the few on the bottom, which those are just a few degrees higher. But considering, you know, eight of the 12 are the same cook time, we're just going to go with that. Okay, so what do we do? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our little scoop here. I'm using a, this would be about the pill size, right? So it's a, it's a quarter of a teaspoon. And I'm going to get a good amount here and add another here. Hang on a little bit more there. Okay, that's all I'm going to add of that. Now I have the inulin. This is the, this is kind of the food for the bacteria to get it going. Get a OE store there. Okay. All right. So we are done with these two. Let's move those out of the way. All right. So now we're going to add our milk. See, this really isn't that difficult. Now, there's another thing. If you want to optimize this even further, um, you can heat the milk up. I think it's to 160 or 180 degrees uh, uh, Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what that is in Celsius. I apologize. Um, and what that can do is that it can take the proteins and denature the proteins. Proteins are normally in a certain shape um, when they're in this, when they're in their natural shape. So what it does, is it, it breaks them apart, um, straightens them out, and then that makes it easier for the bacteria to use them and bind to them and, and use that to grow. So you can do that, heat that up. But then uh, what you'll want to do, once it's heated up to that, is to lower that down to 100 degrees or excuse me 99 degrees or 37 celsius before you add in this material right so you don't want to kill off the bacteria that's important 
Um, if it gets to a certain level, the heat, it'll kill it off. So, but we're just gonna go um, with the uh, good enough solution. So we're gonna add a little bit in here. Get our handy dandy spoon. You wanna stir this up a little bit. And what you can also do, if you're gonna heat that up, is you can add the inulin in first. You can use a uh, one of those um, kind of like hand mixers to stir that up, and that will be already stirred up so you can skip that stuff if you wanna do the heating up portion. Now, it's normal that these things start to clump up a little bit. Um, that's okay. It doesn't have to be completely um, mixed up to get some good yogurt because this is your starter, right? So, you know, this is, this is the worst it will be, meaning that you may get, you may get some way, which is the, the separation with the liquid. Um, that can happen with the first one. That's normal. Don't worry about it. What you're, you're hoping for in the first time you make this yogurt is you're just looking to get a decent yogurt that would be a good starter point for you to make yogurt from then this point on. Because after this, it's much easier to do. All you're going to do is add a couple of scoops into um, one of these, pour the milk in, and then cook it. That's it. Uh, it's very simple. And then that turns out to be some very good yogurt because the yogurt you're putting in there to start it is already loaded with um, bacteria. So that's what we're kind of doing. Um, we're using Dr. Davis's method of increasing the bacteria counts. Whoops, I always do that. Um, and that in turn, sorry about that. I'm king mess. So, okay, that in turn is going to help colonize your gut with this good bacteria and push out that bad bacteria, which I tell you, there's so many um, like health benefits that go with not having that huge amount of bad bacteria in your gut. So part of it is fixing the gut, whereas, you know, if it's difficult to go to the bathroom, you have issues, you're bloated, you're gassy, you're not regular, um, that's going to get fixed, number one. But the other neat benefits that you're going to see are kind of like all over the place. Um, you may get increased uh, mental capacity. Uh, you may get better sleep. You may get um, an overall very good feeling as far as like more, um, more in tune with your emotions, more in tune with um, caring for other people. Who knows? I tell you, it's really strange, but I'm pretty sure my theory is, is that I'm trying to get this off in here. Come on, get in there. Um, is that it's not necessarily being caused by this bacteria, but it's being caused by the lack of the bad bacteria dumping those chemicals into your body, causing all these just crazy things. Um, so what you may also experience too is uh, this might kill off your gingivitis. So you may see better gum health uh, from this. It's weird. I did. So, um, and also maybe better eyesight. I don't know. I went to the doctor yesterday and my eyes have improved. <laughs> um, there's a lot. Okay. So these are in good shape. So let's uh, put our tops on. And usually I like these because if it, the gas does come up some, then it'll, it'll rise with it. It's not going to pop or anything. And I dumped that in there. All right. King Klutz is, uh, once again, goofed up something. Okay. I think half this video is me cleaning up my mistakes. Okay. Sorry about that. No, we're good. So let's go stick these in our 
yogurt maker. And if you're going to make yogurt, um, you don't necessarily need a yogurt maker, but it sure does make your life a lot easier. Um, it's, it's worth the money, honestly, uh, because it comes with comes with these so i'm using the ultimate yogurt maker so that's a good one okay so let me go get some water and plug this in and we'll get the stuff cooked okay let's add some water now with this one this yogurt maker kind of requires uh yogurt i mean uh <laughs> yogurt oh, put yogurt in the yogurt uh water excuse me add it to it so you're going to add it to a little bit above where the yogurt the milk is. I uh, think a little bit more. Uh, that looks good. Okay, because what's going to happen is the it gets hot. You know, water's going to come up here, so this is going to go down just a little bit, and you want it to be uniform, so it's the same temperature, so everything cooks at the same temperature. Okay, so for this, we're going to do 99 degrees, and that's probably about 37 degrees Celsius. We're going to hit our start button once, and then we're going to bump this up to 36 hours. And what that does is that this bacteria will double every three hours. And so that means 12 times the amount of bacteria that is originally in there. And that means that's a whole bunch of bacteria that's going to easily make it down. Hit start. And that's it. And it's going to make it down into your gut and push out that nasty bacteria that is overgrown. And it's going to put you on a journey to better health. Okay. So, 36 hours. We're going to come back. We're going to see how this yogurt goes. See you in a second. Okay, our A2 yogurt is now done. 36 hours later, and it is completed. And I kind of peaked a little earlier when it was going. It looked pretty good. Take it out. And let's take out one of these. Because now we're going to take this and we're going to put this in the refrigerator for a while before we try to munch on it. So let's see, how did that come out? That looks, that looks really good. For first time yogurt, looks good, smells good. Oh, wow. So that looks, um, that looks fantastic. All right, well, let's let this chill in the fridge and then we will try it tomorrow morning. All right, well, let's see how our A2 milk came out. It's been in the fridge all night. That looks about as perfect as perfect can be. Now, let's uh, taste it. And you only want, every day, you only want about, um, you want a half a cup. Which is about 118 milliliters. Sticky. I think that's about good. So about a half a cup um, per one container. Uh, there's about eight servings in one container. So you have two containers and 16 servings. So you're really only going to have to do this about once every couple weeks. Um, now you can also add some uh, nuts in there, uh, honey. Honey is fantastic. So if there's that tart taste that you don't really like, um, that'll help mask that. And um, honey is good for you anyway. Uh, a little bit of that, especially a local honey, will help you with your allergies. Okay, so let's uh, let's get a spoonful and see how this tastes. Mmm. That's really, really good. Um, I'm impressed. I'm thinking A2 milk might be better in the, than the real thing. So the important thing is here is the fat content. Right? Usually with half and half, you've got about, what, I think about um, 10 to 14% fat content, which is a good amount to get a nice thick yogurt, but not too much that it gets cheesy tasting or, or that the fat um, would spoil cooking that long. So A2 yogurt, this is great. Um, 
this is absolutely this is good stuff so you having trouble eating drinking milk um eating milk <laughs> eating yogurt try the a2 it makes fantastic yogurt so this is the super yogurt um this is the one that we're using therapeutic um their biotic uh, bacteria uh, this will work for ruteri this will work for the dr davis uh, cybo so um, this can be an all-around good way to to get your um to get this in and um so if you have family members have problems with milk this might be a very good alternative so all right i appreciate y'all watching y'all take care and uh, come back to see more videos if you want all right